Hey guys, it's John, and welcome back to Lorelei. We are playing Chapter 5, Princess of Maggots. Our goal here is to try to make Owl drink, apparently. If we don't, the Queen of Maggots will kill Zack. Well, here I am. Where are what? you? What should I do? Follow the Queen's orders? Or maybe ignore them and help this guy instead? This is all messed up. Let's just look around and see what happens. Okay. Yeah. Let's just see where life takes us. Oh, here we are. We've got a hoodie on. Incognito. Bottle. It's empty. Don't want to smash the bottle. Oh, I guess it's empty. Cage. So Al's got a pet bird. Interesting. We opened it up. Oh, wait, no. The window's open. Close it. Very retro. Nothing's happening. It needs new batteries. Oh, come on. Well, he's definitely a redhead. What the hell is that supposed to mean? I don't think he'd feel it if I tapped his shoulder. Okay. Window. Not a bad day outside. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna leave the window closed. So the bird doesn't escape. Now that I have these superpowers I can just blink through it oh yeah let's go out in the hallway huh picture what a beautiful woman it's his ex I don't know Sofa. I could kill some time on this sofa if I decide not to get in Al's way after all. I could kill some time on this sofa? Come on, Lorelei. Don't you realize what's at stake here? Corridor. Use. Let's use the corridor. Oh, wait. No, no. Was there another door over here? Bathroom. Nothing in here right now. Very impressive the way she phases in through the door. Ooh, it's got an effect and everything. All right, let's go to the right, see what's over here. Kitchen, fridge, we can corrupt the fridge. Corrupt. Should probably open it first. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. You know what, maybe I'll smash the bottle and wake him up. I don't think we're gonna be able to make any progress if we don't do that first. Smash the bottle. I could easily smash it to pieces. But I'll go easy on it for now. Just tip it over. I could easily smash it to pieces. Oh wait, you don't want to do that right now? I'm sorry, do I have to let the bird out? Because I don't want to do that. No. A princess of maggots doesn't need to eat food. Okay, what happens when we corrupt the fridge? What, so now they got maggots all over them? Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> corrupted I've again. I've already corrupted the shit out of this fridge. These powers are completely fucking bonkers. Ugh. I've already corrupted the shit out of this fridge. <gasps> he mad. Minus one. Huh? How long was I sleeping? Oh, that's not karma. That's like... That's like his willingness to drink, I guess. So we gotta break his resolve. Welcome to another group meeting. Huh? It's good to see you all again. Also, as I'm sure you've noticed, we have a new member with us today. His name is Al. Hi, Al. How you doing, mate? Hello. Um, hi. You all right? We're good, Al. And we're very glad you're here. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> now, I know it's hard to open up to strangers, but remember, 
We're not here to judge you. We might all come from different backgrounds in life, but in the end, we're here because we have one thing in common. For instance, Robert there is a cab driver. Which one's Robert? Was. He's had a drinking problem for most of his adult life. But last year, when he crashed his cab, he realized it is indeed a problem. I nearly killed those kids. Haven't touched a bloody thing since. Then we have Davina. She's a full-time stay-at-home mum of three. Davina drank wine every night, as soon as the kids went to bed. Most nights. Not every night. Ooh. And Careful. Charlie. Where do I even start with you, Charlie? I did it all, boys and girls. Booze, coke, meth. You name it. And, oh, I see Ollie didn't show up today. Again. I just hope he's all right. Doubt it. Yes, well, let me tell you how we do things here, Al. The group will hear you out, then, in turns, will offer advice and support. We'll never think less of you, though. No matter what your addiction made you do. And we'll never talk about it outside of this room. Today you can just listen to us. Well, this is an invasion no for pressure. us to be here. But you'll feel better if you share. Will you try? I need to itch my nose. Why not? Just see how it goes. You don't belong here. You're not like them. We're trying to make him drink. Uh, if we don't, the Queen Maggots won't kill us. He'll, she'll kill Zach. You don't belong here. You're not like them. Maybe. Next time? Today I'd rather just listen to you guys. We're all friends, huh? I don't like having we to do don't this. Bite. No, that's all right. Don't worry. Whenever you're ready, Al. Who'd like to start instead and tell us about their week? I'll go. I mean, is she just gonna kill Zach anyway? Ah. Should we be doing this? I'll be right with you, mate. <laughs> Hello. How can I help you? Hi. Um, it's Susan. I'll have some batteries and uh, menthol Bronsons, please. Yep. Sure. It's Susan. There's batteries and Bronsons. Um, let's examine Sorry, the wine. I'm new. Shake. It's okay. Nice cap. Oh, she wandered in last week, and I let her stay. As long as she doesn't touch the donuts and wears the jumper, of course. Sounds fair. I mean, at least she won't get killed. Sure. But I can't have any. I've got a blackbird at home. So basically, <laughs> no, that's food it. in a cage. Um. Oh. Whoops. I'm sorry. I must have done it by accident. I'll I'll pay for it. Yeah. I'm afraid you'll have to. But you know what? They're buy one, get one free. Ooh. So, yeah, at least you'll get one to take home with you. No, I, uh, I don't really want it. It's a nice wine. 
Otherwise, you'll just be wasting your five ninety nine. Here. Work so hard lately, you deserve a treat. You've worked hard lately. You deserve a treat. It'd be rude to say no. Let's make it your last bottle. Let's make it your last bottle, yeah? Yeah, last bottle. This is the last one. I'll take it. Hey, you forgot your ciggies. Who's this? Oh, well. Who's this? Hey, Mitzi. You fancy a cigarette? We didn't even get to see her! When you get to see Mitzi. Man. What a weird cameo for Susan, you know? Well, he's got the bottle of wine here on the desk now. Nothing's happening. It needs new batteries. Okay, so do I need to find some batteries. There's some batteries. They weren't here earlier. Al got them from the shop last night. All oh, right, he bought them. We were there for that. <laughs> Rubbish bags. Looks like Al's decided to clean that fridge after all. Good for him. I don't want to touch it. It's mostly that horrible moldy food from the fridge in there. Oh yeah. Okay, let's go turn on the fri uh, on the fri turn on the fridge. Turn on the radio. Okay. Do we want to make Al drink? I'm starting to think maybe we don't. Okay. I'm too drunk. I'm too high. But if I'm going down, I'll lose my mind. I'm too drunk. I'm too high. But if I come down, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm too drunk. I'm too high. But if I ever come down, Oh, shut the fuck up. Too drunk? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm really feeling sorry for Al. I shouldn't be doing this. Is it too late? Can we reverse the effects? Maybe we can. I'll just leave it here. In case he wants to drink it eventually. What? I'm off today. No, I didn't change the rotor. I don't know who did. Did you ask Phil? He did? Yeah, I know what Mr. B's like. Fine. Give me 20 minutes. Let's go and work at the I'll old folks' home. Oh, we gotta go back there? Oh, come on. He looks sad. Cookbook. How long has he been staring at it? Red wine beef stew. Red wine. I see. Mrs. Giles requested this recipe for her anniversary on Friday. Mr. B. Where are you going, Al? I'm starting to feel bad. I'm starting to feel like maybe I shouldn't have done this. Maybe it's not too late.
Ugh, Maria. What are you doing, dude? I bet he's stealing Sherry again. Do you think the lock's still busted? Maybe I'm gonna mess with you a little bit. Can I mess with her? I mean, if a draft was to push that door... Oh, Maria. Anything to do with us, right? Maria hey, sucks. Who's done that? Lucky that I'm not stuck here Just like Just let I... me out, will you? Oh, she's recording on her phone again. They store some food products in here. The shit isn't funny. Sky, summon rain. It's a beautiful day, but I can easily change that. Get rained on, Maria. Bloody hell, me. Take it. What's well, shame about your cool mobile getting fucked by the rain? What a shame about your cool mobile getting fucked by the rain. She's still here off screen. I guess she didn't go all the way off. All right. What do we do? <laughs> Okay, I feel bad now. Officially feel bad. <laughs> Say nothing. Okay. I'll take care of you, mate. I'll take care of you, mate. I'll be all right. It's getting bullied at work. Struggling with alcoholism. Freaking Maria. She's what tipped me over the edge. It's hard because, like, going into this, you have no investment in Al whatsoever. You have no motivation to really not do what the Queen of Maggot says. I guess that's why it was made this way. No! Dude! Don't drink! Oh, he's taking a bath. Okay. I suppose a nice hot bath is what he needs after a day like this. Yeah, why not? Let's wait. I think he's about to fall asleep. Enter dream. Excuse me? We're entering his dream? Are we gonna influence what he dreams about, or...? Give him a good dream. Oh, that's a nice dream, Al. But shall we make it a little more... interesting? I'm not gonna put... A shark in there. This looks nice. Give him a nice one. Palm tree. Hold. Oh, we're playing as Al now. It's not the same island I was on. Oh. Huh. 
Oh no, it's that girl from the photo. Probably his ex-girlfriend, ex-wife. Maybe she died. Hopefully that wasn't a minus one. I don't think it was. I'm sorry, Jimmy? You all right? What are you doing here? Um, yes. You? We need to talk, Lorelai. Okay. Follow me. Okay, where, where are we going? So, you're working for the Queen of Maggots now. Oh my god. Hi, L. Can you sit normally? Lives? Killing parasites. I'm actually trying to help this guy. I'm actually trying to help this guy. I don't think you're doing a very good job, to be honest. Well, not at first. It's harder than it seems. I'm still learning the ropes. Well... I hope you realize that Al's walking a very thin line here. Yes, I don't need a lecture. I got it. That's what frightens me most, Jimmy. Fine. I'm not here to lecture you on morality. That's what you just did. I came to ask about the real Queen of Maggots. Oh yeah, we used your bomb. What happened in the tunnel? First of all, thanks for giving me a broken bloody lighter. <laughs> First of all... Thanks for giving me a broken, bloody lighter. What? It worked fine when I tried it. Well, it did not for me. I had to make fire the old school way. Guessing you already know that I managed to kill her. Turned out one bomb wasn't enough. <laughs> Operation Tunnel was a complete fuck up. Not gonna be around the bush. Operation Tunnel was a complete fuck up. Sorry, mate. I had no choice but to waste the bomb on blowing up a wall. But you did find the monster, right? Yes, but without your bomb, my only option would have been to beat it with the stick. And I didn't even have a stick. I'm sorry, Lorelei. I should have prepared better. Yeah. But now that I've seen that... thing... I agree. We must destroy it. I'm glad you think so, too. So is there a plan B? That monster was huge. Are you even sure the bomb would kill it? That monster was huge. Are you even sure the bomb would kill it? Because I was thinking that, too. No. Of course I'm not. But unless we find a rocket launcher, we are kind of short on options here. Uh -huh. Anyway. It seems to be weak to fire. But how do you know that? And I'm pretty sure that oily pool it's sitting oh. in would burn like a torch, too. When you said... It sounds like you need to make more bombs. I'll figure something out. But I need you to promise me something. I'll remember that for a second. Um, well, yeah. When he said in the last chapter, he was like, I made a bomb. It's weak to fire. I was like, of course the bomb is weak to fire. What a strange thing to say. But he was saying that the Queen of Maggots is weak to fire. Okay. <laughs> All right, what is it? All right, what is it? If you manage to find a way out and survive this, when you're back in the real world, go to 12 Helen Road. There is a spare key in the plant pot right outside flat three. 12 Helen Road? Find me. And wake me up. That address seems familiar, but I can't place it. All right, we gotta get back to making sure Al doesn't drink. My name is Davina, and I'm an alcoholic. 
I'm not going to lie to you guys. This has been a difficult week. The kids are doing my head in. I mean, sometimes. Sometimes I feel like I could just strangle them so they would shut up. But I won't, obviously. They're my kids. I love them so much. But every time they spill stuff on the floor, and every time they scream their little heads off or fight about some stupid toy, I start thinking about it. It's always there, you know? Why don't you encourage her in her efforts? Why don't you encourage her in her efforts? She just needs a bit of support. I don't have kids, so I don't really know what that's like, but... You know, for some reason, I remember something Bill Murray once said in a movie. <laughs> I think it was Lost in Translation. Good film. Good movie. Yeah, well, he basically said, it's true that kids are hard, but they grow up to be the most delightful people you will ever meet in your life. So what I'm trying to say is, be strong. Being a mum's never easy. But in the end, you'll know it was all worth it. I saw that film. I don't remember that line, but I sure remember him drinking a lot of whiskey. Ah, whiskey. We were the best of friends once. Was that Bill Murray? Was that an image of Bill Murray? Doing the whiskey commercial? <laughs> oh, that one scene. If you haven't seen Lost in Translation, you definitely should. What a beautiful woman. Hmm. Alright. Let's sit next to him. Forward time. Watch TV. What's on TV? Classic horror. Night of the Living Dead? I don't know. Don't recognize it. Okay. Switch channel. Okay. This is in public domain, by the way. Somebody let me know. What band is this? Uh, I don't know. Could be anybody, to be honest. No! Turn off that. Oh, uh... Yeah. Continue watching TV. Exit. I just wanted to see what was on there. I'm very bad at recognizing things from small clips. Sounds like the postman's arrived. It leads onto a quiet little street. Hey, he didn't drink last night, so that's good. Al's building. He lives in a nice location. But if he doesn't stop drinking, he won't be able to afford it for much longer on chef's wages. Parcels. I think these are about to be delivered as soon as the courier is done with his mobile. With its mobile? The finest selection of lager and bitter right to your doorstep. So you want me to switch the labels? No, 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 no. Keep it. The writing on the large parcel says the finest selection of lager and bitter right to your doorstep. Okay, well. I'm gonna exit. Let me make sure. Let me make sure. Okay. 
I'll make sure that he's not gonna get them. Okay, let's go back inside. I haven't been running this whole time. I need to run. What is he gonna get though? I'm more interested in that. What's in that parcel he's getting? A letter. Dear Al, I've decided to write this letter because uh, we never really had a chance to say goodbye. Janice told me you'd given up the drink. I couldn't believe it at first. Then I heard about the group therapy, and yeah, it looks like you finally admitted that you have a problem. I'm impressed, Al. But it's too late. No! This wound is never gonna heal. I hated you for so long. I wouldn't know how to love you now. Now, after all this time, I understand you never wanted to hurt me. You were ill. I can never forgive you for what you did. And yet, I hope you can still turn your life around and be the good man you once were. Goodbye, Anne. That's a tough letter and to read. good luck. Well, thank, thanks for good luck. That's a shitty letter. Sorry. Shitty letter. Should just should just let it be. Inside my head, just to get away. into the river's end, just to sink down into the ocean sand, where I am now. When I need you so bad I disgust myself Fucking around in a dance of the dead I think about the one I don't deserve Is this my fate to be your biggest mistake Where I am now When I need you so bad Black cat and a crow Always got no. noise God I made him drink back. again I tried to reverse it, but it was too late. Black cat and a crow, always guiding, always guiding my path. I did too much damage in the beginning. Black cat and a crow, when I'm going down this road again. I guess it was like under half. Oh, is he dead? Well, at least Zack won't die. I guess. Damn. Oh, well, now he's dead. Oof! What about all that stuff we did earlier? Oh, you didn't talk at your first session? And that's what did it? I corrupted the food in your fridge? Chapter six, the factory. All right, y'all, let's do this. I have a lot of thoughts about this game, but I'll save them for the end. I got an achievement for completing chapter five.
Okay. Here we are. Great. Green world. Hi, I just left the house for a few hours, but now I'm back. It's like it didn't even happen. Let's examine the TV. It's playing some crazy old movie. What is it? Some crazy old movie, huh? You mean static? Is that the crazy old movie? <laughs> okay. Grandfather clock. Coffin. This coffin seems different from the rest. Use. <gasps> well. Let's just relive this trauma over and over again. She looks like she's reaching out for something. Baby. Mom. Why do you keep haunting me? Can't see it. This is a doll. Doll. It's just a doll. But it represents Bethany, though. These baby dolls. They're always creepy. Yeah. Let's, uh... Let's give it to her. That's Joe! In the background. Or, like, evil Joe. There's a massive padlock on it. Check the clock. Fire axe. How did that get here? Joe put it there, duh. Looks like some murderer's weapon. Uh-huh. Sorry, where's that coming from? We use the fire axe on the door? We also got the sigil key. going what's happening see where where we uh Joe was in downfall aren't we isn't that where we are right now Could it be? You dream of beautiful things, Lorelei. Whose house is this? Whose house is this? Don't say mine. Nobody's. Oh. But it's waiting for an owner like you, Lorelei. Hmm. Then let me guess. I pay mortgage by making people's lives a misery. It's not that expensive, <laughs> but isn't it the best way to get what you always wanted? A quiet little house, away from all those toxic people. A blue house. I'd like it to be yellow, like Van Gogh's house. I'd paint it all red. Wouldn't it be funny to live in a pink house? I like blue. I like it. It's Blue's good. Perfect. What now? Look inside your new house. Say hello. But it's not real. It's just a dream house. Can you not smell the wheat? Here it rustled in the breeze. If you touch the house, you feel the day's warmth soaked into the bricks. The whispering of the wood. 
Yes, this house has a heartbeat of its own. And what do you want from me? I can't leave Bethany and Zach. They need me. I can't leave Bethany and Zach. They need me. If I don't go back soon, they're as good as dead. Then go back one last time. I have no problem with that. Oh, good. In fact... Make sure you kill old John properly this time, would you? I'll try. He's a real rat in the cornfield, that man. I'm pretty sure he'll leave me no choice. But why do you care? Because, by killing him, you will renounce your mortal life and return to me. So you can become the Queen of Maggots yourself. And what if I want to stay with Beth and Zack? You can't have it all, Lorelei. A life for a life. Can you be totally honest with me? Can you be totally honest with me? And answer one question. Just one. Please. Is your name Lorelei? <laughs> Is your name Lorelei? Yes. <laughs> but I have many, many names. And only one of them is Lorelai. Okay. There are two other questions I could have asked, and I know people are interested in both the other ones, but... I'm ready. That was driving me crazy. Excellent. I just wanted to see if there was anything else now. to it. I'll tell you what to do. Well, what else is new? Dream house. What a beautiful house. Let's go inside. See if it's beautiful inside. Go straight upstairs. That stupid old crow in the garden isn't worth your time. He'll starve to death soon enough anyway. What? So far. Maybe I should just rest for a minute. Nah, I'm good. What'd you say about a crow in the backyard that's starving? I'm going back there. Maybe I can get a karma point. Lorelei? Huh? I did oh not god. It's you. I did not expect it. Um, where are you? Right here. In the cage. Is it Jimmy? Who is this? Are you a talking crow? Are you a talking crow? No. I mean, yes, I, I suppose. That bitch queen of maggots turned me into a crow and locked me up. Jimmy? Yeah, it's me. <laughs> so now you're Jimmy the crow. Does it hurt? Not really. But boy, <laughs> I'm so hungry. Oh boy. Sounds like Jimmy's been smoking for 50 years before being turned into a crow. How about some delicious juicy pumpkin? Well, how about some delicious juicy pumpkin? Yeah, I'm not eating that. What's wrong with pumpkins? I don't know. But for some reason, my stomach turns if I even think about them. Oh, come on. You'd rather starve to death than eat a pumpkin? Yeah. I think... I know they're filled with blood. Look, I know it's crazy, but I'd really much prefer those white granules. Isn't that fertilizer? I don't care what it is. It smells so good. You want to eat I shit. I really, really want it. You want to literally eat shit. I'm sorry to see you like this, Jim. But I'm here. We'll figure out how to save you. Yes. But first... 
I need food. I'll starve to death if I don't eat something soon. The voice actor, I don't know who it is, but it sounds kind of like Cry a little bit. It's not, I don't think, but... It has that, like, tone. How come you're so hungry? How come you're so hungry? You've not been here long. Really? It feels like years and years to me. Oh. Did you hear that? No. Hear what? My stomach. Rumbling. Like a thunderstorm. I'll see what I can do. You can just give me some of that fertilizer. You sure that's even edible? I want it! Please! Let's... Let's make him eat shit. According to the label, it's a saltpeter-based garden fertilizer. Looks Not. tasty, doesn't it? No. Um, no. You weirdo. John, not all fertilizer. It's poop. Yeah, it's called a joke. Okay. These are the jokes. Use fertilizer on Jimmy the Crow. What kind of game are we playing right now? <laughs> Use fertilizer on Jimmy the Crow. Don't peck my hand, please. Good. More. More. I don't know if I should give him. Poor Jimmy. I skipped it that time. Are you eating that thing? Because if not, I'll have it. What happens when we give more to him? Mm, I need more. Still hungry. This is, this is weird. Oh. Jimmy! I I got an achievement. Don't feed the crow. So we killed Jimmy. I thought it might be a trap. But I wanted to see what would happen. It's run down looking. Just like the rest of the garden. Oh well, moving on from Jimmy the Traveler. I'm not thirsty. Yeah, I hope not. Okay, so the way that we save Jimmy is we don't give him the fertilizer, I guess. Or maybe... Maybe he's transferred back to his body now. I don't know. I don't know. I like the volcano in the background. Sorry, are we going in? No. Isn't it a lovely room, Lorelei? A lovely room for lovely dreams. It looks comfy. Even the linen smells fresh and inviting. So what, we have a dream in here? Find yourself back in my house when you wake up. Oh, goody. I've wait, left wait. something tasty for you in the kitchen. Wait, no, because we have the sigil key. Oh, and we're going to use it right now. We're going to disobey. We're back in here now. So she wants me to eat the stew again, I guess, or the shark fin stew? There's fire here. It's hot. I don't want to burn myself. Fine. This monster. Could it really be what Queen of Maggots actually is? Let's get rid of the fertilizer. That's not it. Aw. But the fertilizer made Jimmy die.
Okay. Let's go back. See what's in the... Wait, what's here? What's that one again? Oh, those are all the... That's the coffin place. And that's the beach. Okay, we understand what the three doors are now. Okay, fine. I'll eat the shark fin stew again. How'd you get another shark fin? Did you do it yourself this time? We gotta kill John, though. Oh, what a way to wake up. More unpleasant than last time. There's a gas can. Oh, was he planning on setting us on fire later? Burning the bodies, but it's raining, so he couldn't, so we just shoved us in here? That's what happened, wasn't it? Okay, so wait, no. The two police officers, us, and then Miranda. I had to press a key to make her get up. We come back to life. Why did he bring all the bodies here? To burn us. If only you'd listen to me, Mom. Dead cop. I think his name was Gibbs. Oh, how sad. John took this cop's uniform to trick Officer Manley. Why did he bring all the bodies Sorry. here? I can't believe he fell for the oldest trick in the book. You fell for it too. He's dead. His gun taken away. What do you mean you can't believe he fell for it? it? Smells like gasoline. It's a bit too heavy to carry around. Oh, come on. It's not that heavy. You could, you could carry on the gasoline if you want to. You want him to burn those bodies? Because that's what he's planning. He might still be here, actually. Who knows? I get why the game's called Lorelei. Double meaning, you know, double reference. But I kind of want it to be called John Must Die a little bit. Brick Factory. Burt Whistle and Company. Wait, is this, is this another scene from a previous game? You know, I was thinking about Jimmy when he said he lived at 12 Helen Road, flat three. Isn't that Joe's address? I don't know. It's been so long. Uh-oh. Lorelai, this is the employee's only entrance. <gasps> we can't go in here. God, where are we playing? Inside? Why was he obsessed with drowning that baby? He was like, well, if I can't do it in the bathtub, I'll do it in the pond. He's a child. Hey, he's a piece of shit. Let's go get him. Did he just kill us again? Doesn't he think it's weird that we keep not dying? Did we die again? You just won't let it go, will you? Well, this will be our last goodbye. Surely he just... V? 
this this dude he's gonna wait so is he killing himself because he would have had to be in that thing right I like how he drove a tractor on top of me. Ah, well that was a really short-lived excursion in the real world. I'm angry. There's breathing. Is it upstairs? If he has Bethany, doesn't that mean Zach's dead too? <laughs> Whose breathing is that? Let's see some more of that stew, I guess. This is weird. Okay. Is there any stew left? Go back to life. <laughs> How many times can we do this? How much stew is there? And she still looks like a million bucks. Look at her. Oh, you thought you were done, huh? What's in here? A weapon, maybe? A weapon would be good. Can we set him on fire? Uh... What? What's up here? Can't see anything. Oh, okay. I kind of get what's going on. Panel. Okay, so how did he move that tractor thing without... There's no power right now. Without being in it. I don't know. I guess, I guess maybe he set it to like drive and then he got out the last second, but it was kind of like on a slope. Greasy. Ooh, greasy. Probably flammable then. Crane. I can't see anything, dude. Okay. I think this panel next to me is used for controlling the crane. Assuming it still works, of course. Well, that's freaking easy. Dropping it. the container would tell John exactly where I am. I think I'd know how to drop that container, if there was a good reason to do that. Like dropping the container on him, for example? Uh, okay. So let's go up here. Can we use these stairs? Are these different stairs? They go up on the other side. <gasps> Lorelai. Are we in heaven yet? This really doesn't look like heaven to me. Kinda does. 
from where I'm looking. You cheesy bastard. Shut up. Oh, Zack. I saw you dead. You... You had a... <laughs> you had a bullet hole right between your eyes. Hmm. I'm immortal. I'm immortal. You are so awesome, Lorelai. <laughs> He's just like, awesome. Oh, Bethany's dead. It's my fault he took her. I'm so sorry. I... I thought it was the cop. But he smacked me one right in the face and I went down like a sack of bricks. I know. I fell for it too. How bad is it? Well, <laughs> this rod's gone right through me. If I move, my guts will probably fall out onto the floor. <coughs> They're not my prettiest part, as you can imagine. So I'd rather spare you the sight. I think I'll just sit here, very still, for a little while longer. Dude. You're about to die, and you're worried that seeing your intestines on the floor might be a little disgusting for me. Whatever, dude. I'm sorry I got into this mess. Where is he? Where is he? I don't know. But he said something about this big-ass machine over there. He called it the Cruncher. Oh, he's gonna crunch us up. Oh, no. He seems to know this place well. He used to work here. Before the place shut down just over a year ago. What does the cruncher do? I think it grinds stones and clay into a pulp. Or bones. <laughs> oh, we're gonna be made into bricks, aren't we? <coughs> Shit. I'm sorry I got you into this mess. It's okay. No, it's not. None of this would have happened to you if I hadn't knocked on your door and asked for help. I have no regrets. For you, I'd do it a thousand times over. You know this. I could never find the courage to say it, but... I love you. I've loved you from the moment I saw you, Lorelai. Love it, Two years sight. ago. The day I moved in, you sat on the stairs with your headphones on. And you were wearing the same dress. Red and black with stripes. I knew right then. She's like a Peanuts character. Same outfit every day. I'm sorry, dying man who has tried to save my baby sister from an evil murderer, but this would never work. I'm notorious cock blocker for these games, but I'm not gonna cock block this. I got an achievement, first kiss. Well, he's dead, but at least he's not like a kissing verge, you know? At least he died a man. <laughs> Just kidding. I can't let you die like this. There must be some way to save you. To save all of us. You really had died, hadn't you? You'd think I've lost my fucking marbles if I told you. I make video games. I spent half my life living a fantasy. Try me. Let's tell him. Imagine for a moment that when I die, the time stops and I go to this strange other world. I'm with you. There's a monster there, deep in the tunnels. 
and an old woman. The Queen. She lights candles for each of us in her house, and she likes to put them out. And as their flames die, so do we. That monster, you know, I... I feel that if I destroyed it, it would make everything okay again. Actually, I nearly blew it up with explosives. But, sadly, nearly is as far as I got. And now I'm kind of fucked. And that's assuming that I simply haven't gone crazy in the head. So, you need a way to kill the monster, right? Wait, you actually believe me? Yeah. I mean, sure, it's all very odd. But yeah, I believe you. It's a large kind of creature, right? You can still blow it up. Best way to fight it. But with what? I'm out of bombs. Make another one. Like I know how to make a bomb. It's easy. I made plenty of them. Let me guess. In Skyrim? <laughs> Don't be silly. Bombs. In Skyrim? What for? <laughs> when you have fireballs. But sure. They could have bombs. Anyone can make a Molotov's cocktail. See that bottle over there? Silly girl. Grab it. Don't know what what video games are about. Uh. I'm just kidding. I wasn't saying that he was saying that. I wasn't trying to make any sort of statement. I was just making a joke. Let's take the bottle. Just fill it up with alcohol or gasoline. Anything that's flammable will do. Oh, and we got the greasy There's rag. There's things you can add to make it go boom twice as much. Like salt, Peter. But I doubt you find any of that here. I actually do have salt, Peter. Anyway, stick a rag in it, light it up, and send that thing off to hell. That sounds way better than Jimmy's crappy you bomb. You sure it won't just break in my hand and burn me alive? I guess that's one risk you have to take when you fight monsters in dark tunnels. Oh, I almost forgot about this. Take this. Does this lighter actually work? Something to light your Molotov. Thanks, Zach. Okay, bye. And perhaps some candles. If you find one with my name on it. This time, it's the princess that saves the hero. It's never gonna work. All right, Debbie Downer. You're right, this fight isn't over yet. Let's be better than him and not flip this around on him. You're right, this fight isn't over yet. Yeah. Let's get him. Run! Wait, outside. Oh, fun! Shit! I smashed the bottle! No! What? Oh. I'll never forget how the same broken bottle smashed over my throat. Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? Maybe we'll smack him with it. Yeah. Now, where is he? But maybe we can. Dropping the container would tell John exactly where I am. But, like, isn't that where he walks? Dropping the container would tell John exactly where I am. Okay, what am I supposed to do here then?
What's in here? Oh. Workbench. I guess they used to fix equipment here back in the day. Dusty. I can craft a weapon here. I can craft a weapon here. Broken bottle? Nope. What? I don't think that was supposed to happen. That was weird. I don't think he was supposed to come through here like that. He's coming. I need to hide. Uh... What? I guess we're in the dark, but he could totally see us in there. Oh wait, no, he's not, he's not going in there. Okay, there was a bottle up there. A real one. Let's get it. Operation Kill John is underway. Oh. You made a lot of mistakes, Bob. But nothing to deserve this. Get it. Zach, are you more dead? Careful this time. There's a long metal rod going through his abdomen. Zack? God, he's dying. I must hurry. Okay. Let's go down the stairs then, not down the slide. Okay, we need gasoline. And we know where that is, it's in the shipping container. Can we go this way? But this is where he went. Yeah, fat son of a bitch. Too many donuts, was it? Oh, I need a fucking breather. Don't see me. Run, Lorelei, run. Yeah. Go in there. Get the gasoline. It's a bit too heavy to carry. Fine. Use it. Pour it in the bottle. Okay. Now put the greasy rag in there. Craft weapons at the. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay. Duly noted. Crap weapons at the workbench. Wrong. Okay. How are we gonna hide from him here? Go back? Ah, risky. You better thank your lucky stars that the lightning didn't strike right when he was passing by, because he totally would have seen you. I, on the other hand, I guess he is very concentrated on what he's doing. Okay. Let's go in the factory. Let's go to the workbench. Okay. Uh, I can craft a weapon here. Ball of gasoline. Greasy rag. Weak Molotov's cocktail. Saltpeter. Upgraded Molotov's cocktail. <laughs> so do we use the Molotov's cocktail on him? No, we're saving that for the Queen of Maggots. I don't like this. No, 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 no. If the bodies get crushed up, we can't bring them back to life. Broken bottle. Well, good thing he's getting rid of mum last. Actually, let's drop the thing on him. 
Can we drop the thing on him? Drop the big old thing on him. Dropping the container would tell John exactly where I am. Now we drop it. Now we drop it. Drop it. <laughs> this will kill that cockroach. I hope he is alive from the shoulders up. So we can walk up and he can see who killed him. It was us. We did it. <laughs> okay. What? This ends here. Why? What? You lot never love me. You ruined my fucking life. Broken bottle. Karma's a bitch. Let's go through this all again. He's got to be dead, right? Now the Molotov. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, song. Now let's go. Let's do this. And then we're gonna light those candles. Let's get this. Get this over and done with. All right. Dead? Is she dead? She's gotta be dead, right? Yeah, looks like it. Oh. Ungrateful little bitch. You have ruined it all. Wait, that's her. I gave you all this power, and you stabbed me right in the back. All I ever wanted was a normal, happy life. Flashing lights warning. Why do you look like me? Why do you look like me? You are me. I thought you should look yourself in the eye one last time. Soon, I will. 
become. All of this is a memory, and even that will fade sooner than you think. Until one day you look in the mirror and realize that I can never truly die. My roots grow deep. And my thorns, these scars, you can never quite heal. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to go. Yes, I'll go. And you will too. But not the same. Nothing. Nothing will ever be the same. Goodbye, Lorelei. Goodbye, Lorelei. I got an achievement. Goodbye, Lorelei. Maybe there was power in the name? I don't know. All right. So, the Queen of Maggots is... Depression, you know? Representative of mental illness. Hmm. Let's make sure we like those... Oh, the fireplace is gone. All right, let's light him. I got an achievement, a new life. So do we bring Bethany back to life too? And ourselves, of course. All right. It's stew time. But wait. When Bethany comes back to life, won't she be underwater? Can she swim? I never made the connection that this is where we met Jimmy. Zack must have come back to life and immediately dove in after Bethany, right? Oh no, Z fighting shipping container. <laughs> it's a bad time for you to be here, buddy. So is that it? Is that... John's dead. Queen Maggots is dead. Well, she can never truly die. Jimmy's dead. There's a chapter seven, okay. I got an achievement for beating chapter six. Just to keep y'all updated.
12 Helen Road. Why are we going to Jimmy's place? Oh yeah. And then the E and the N are faded off, so it just says Hell Road. I forgot about that. So we gotta wake up Jimmy, but... Didn't we kill Jimmy? Well, I guess... Dream... We killed Dream Jimmy. Who was actually a crow. So... Maybe he's still alright? Flat three. Jimmy. You there? He's asleep. You know this. This is it. Jimmy's place. Has he really been sleeping all this time? Who is Jimmy? Electric meter. It's one of those prepaid meters. You put coins in the slot to top it up. It's nearly run out. There's 14p left on the meter. 14p? Is this the plant Jimmy told me about? Oh yeah, right. The key. There it is! There it is! <laughs> okay. Looks like somebody hasn't been watering their plant, by the way. Look at the soil. It's all cracked. What flat for? It's quiet inside. What's here? Wait. That's not where Jimmy lives. Why am I even knocking? Because I told you to. Did I just hear a meow? Uh, you sure did. It's that same thing that was on TV. Maybe it's one of the bands that are on the soundtrack. Oh, coins. There's some loose change. Should I have it? It would cover the price of the bus ticket. Or, we can use it on the electric meter. A random act of kindness. Hopefully it'll put a smile on someone's face. I'm sorry, you're saying there's no real reason for me to have done that? I mean, I got an achievement for it. Random act of kindness. I knew I was in trouble as soon as I read that. Uh... Is this because we made him eat the salt, Peter? Yeah, maybe you shouldn't have dreamed so much. Damn. That's really too bad. What are you doing, Laura? Should I feel guilty about Jimmy? No. Maybe. I had a feeling he shouldn't be eating that bloody fertilizer. I did too. But he just wouldn't listen to me. I just wanted to see what happened. It was interesting. And creepy. I wish I could tell him about my life now. Oh, you knew the guy for like two seconds. Tommy and Zach moved into a council flat together. He would and pretend to care. losing Bethany to social services proved pointless. Because in the end, she'd been able to stay with us. We're a little family now. I managed to keep my job at the Pinecroft residential home. Zach's back to his games, keeping an eye on Bethany when I'm not there. With us looking after her, she's never gonna cry again. It too. Something's burning. Bethany, I hope it's not my hard drive. Oh, it's not. Okay, what are you doing that's so strenuous over there? Oh, kitchen. Where's your kitchen? And the whole house burns down. Oh, you burn the turkey. Great job. That's a mistake. 
Just before Christmas, Marjorie passes away. Oh. Marie's in the back where she belongs. She never spoke to me, and yet... It hurts. Everyday life can be a drag. Work, shopping, cleaning. All the mundane routines we lock ourselves into. I can feel that with every obstacle, I'm headed towards a breakdown. And not just me. Oh, he's in a good mood. Headphones guy is not. I keep asking myself, is this the life I was fighting for? Was it all worth it? And every time these thoughts come back to haunt me, I close my eyes. Silent Hill. My own world inside me that keeps reminding me who I am. A survivor. A powerful, unstoppable being. That felt very ending. Achievement unlocked. The and other side of fear. Eyes. Our windows open. So won't you come with me? Everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. George Adair. Okay. Well, that was Lorelei. Got a lot of thoughts about it. But first, achievement update. I got one for completing chapter seven, which was like five minutes long. Okay. Uh, so this is the third game in a trilogy. It's not, it's not just a game that takes place. Good job, Maisie K. It's not just something that takes place. Good job, Abigail Turner. All the voice actors and actresses did a great job. Um, except for you, John. <laughs> JK. You all did great. Um, it's the third game in the trilogy, right? It's not just like a game that takes place in the same universe. From what I understand, at least. Because uh, it feels a lot more like a game that just takes place in the same universe as Downfall and the Cat Lady, to me. I think chronologically, this is the last one. Um, it took me a little bit. Uh, David Firth did Greta? I was wondering. David Firth, for, for you guys who don't know, is uh, Salad Fingers. Um, he was he also did some voice work in um, uh, the Cat Lady, and I, th I think and he had a small part in uh, Downfall as well. But uh, yeah, so 
Right, back to what I was saying. Um, it, this plays more like kind of a spin-off than the conclusion to a trilogy, in my opinion. Jim Sterling was in this game. I did not recognize his voice. I feel like, um... I feel like it's the worst of the three. And I don't mean that in a bad way, because the other two games are just so good. Uh... But to me, this is far away, far and away the, the worst of the three. It might be a bit unfair of me to say that, I guess. It's definitely the least horror of the three. And I just, I think the series really peaks with the cat lady. Downfall is a suitably creepy um, predecessor. Uh, this was... I think it really had a, a creepy factor going into it in the first two chapters, and then it kind of, in my opinion, went a little too deep into like the Queen of Maggots. I know the game's about the Queen of Maggots, but into like the the Queen of Maggots like afterlife realm and these like dream sequences. I think one of the things that made the Cat Lady so tense is that there were so many like real life situations, but. It's like it felt like when you came back to life in Lorelei, you died really fast and you went back to the house and it felt a little bit to me like you know how like the Matrix was so good and then like they made the other movies and it was like I think by the time you got to the third movie in the Matrix trilogy Revolutions, like you spent like the entire movie in the Matrix. And it's like this world is not as interesting to me at least as you know, the real world. Or, I guess, I got them mixed up. They spend so much time in this, like, man versus machine, you know, real world in that movie, but it's like, I want to see bullet time. I want to see, you know, dudes in sunglasses kicking each other. And in this, I feel like it kind of... it kind of lost a bit of that tension and suspense and, like, horror factor. I'm gonna stop griping about that. Visually, the game is obviously much improved from the other ones. Uh, great job of mixing 3D and 2D graphics and and putting it all in a high definition package for the first time. I think the game looks great and sounds great, uh, especially for a largely one man operation. As far as the person that puts the game together, obviously there's voice actors and voice actresses and and musicians, but. Uh, the person actually like putting the game together is just one guy at Harvester Games. So that's very commendable and, you know, great job just on the aesthetics of the game. I feel like the story was a lot slower than I would have liked. And it took a step away from, like, the horror, I guess. So this is the, the least horror of the series. And I kind of came in with different expectations, I guess. But... I don't know. I, I I found the the ending to be a little too neatly wrapped up with a bow on top. I mean, it was nice. It was pleasant. It was a pleasant ending, but it didn't. I guess this game just didn't really like jar and disturb me as much as I wanted it to. As much as the cat lady did. And I hope I'm not romanticizing the cat lady. I hope I'm not unfairly putting some sort of nostalgia bias on it. Like, oh, the cat lady was so great. And, you know, it's been like six years, so I don't remember it all too well, but I remember it being awesome, and then this isn't making me feel the same way, so therefore it's bad. I'm not saying that. You know, I'm, I'm just... It's hard not to compare them because they're in the same series, you know? I don't know. I'm pretty lukewarm on Lorelei overall, I guess, but, you know, I, I think this is definitely a game to support, and if, you know... You enjoyed the series and you haven't bought the games, I highly recommend doing that. And I hope to play whatever Harvester Games decides to make next. So with all that aside, thank you guys for sticking through the series. I know they've been long videos and it's been a little bit of time between the videos, but that's because they're really long videos. And uh, I'm excited to wrap the series up and uh, get back to like regular, regularly scheduled one-shot horror videos. Uh, where we go back to the bowels of Ichio and Game Jolt and the Steam Horror tag to just scrape the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.